Hey Taurus, TT here with another channel message. Shout out to everyone in the comments. I see each and every single one of you. Thank you for your love and support. Y'all be making me laugh in the comments. So I appreciate all of um, the best wishes and I be missing y'all too. And it's only Tuesday, right? So, um, yeah, this message is going to be for those of you Tauruses. There's someone that you walked away but before, from, all right, you're moving on from a tyrant that's what i'm seeing here some of y'all leaving jobs as well i see that too but these are from my tauruses that are like um this is gonna be specific as i don't as all get out okay so take what resonates leave the rest but um for those of you where this resonates the collective of taurians that resonate with this message you know who you are all right so say less let me go ahead and tell you what I've been getting okay I heard indigo so indigo could be a color for somebody um but I was in the nail salon right and um you know I was getting a little polish or whatever and I'm sitting there and I mean the way that this lady was massaging you know my feet and I had paid for the therapy session too so <laughs> let me tell you I don't know if I fell asleep and I was snoring but this lady gave me a, a very prestige experience okay she was massaging and um like she went extra i gave her a fat ass tip too that's how good it felt but long story short i'm sitting there guess what i see on the wall there are literally four one two three four four pictures on the wall and the the picture was each and it was like a wooden a wooden drawing exactly like that's exactly what it was it was a wooden a wooden art drawing where you wouldn't even notice it unless you looked at the gravings and each plank was in like descending order but guess what was on them damn planks power lines y'all remember yesterday when we were talking about um something to do with power lines being significant <sighs> girlfriend boyfriend let me tell y'all what i saw i saw four power lines so there's something about the next four days four days from whenever you watch this video something is meant to happen i don't know what exactly but this is exactly how it looked there was one it was like rectangles one two three four and each one had an identical power line to this one on this card and the lines were connecting where it was supposed to be like you know like a picture that was you know separate but it was like when all four are lined up next to each other you see the whole image of four power lines in descending order so something about in the next four days from when, whenever you watch this video i don't care if you watch this video in 2023 or onward something about from when the moment you see this video four days after something significant is supposed to happen bet okay so let's see what I am picking up here uh, is, um, excuse me, uh, imbalanced masculine energy. This could be you, Taurus, or someone else, but you got endings here. You know how I said we're talking about someone that was divinely guided to end something and walk away from someone that was not operating in their higher selves. Now, this could be a boss for some of you, but for majority of you, this is a, a love <clears throat> excuse me, this is a relationships channel. So we do talk about love very much so on this channel anything else that comes up with life purpose and finances and career you know i'm always mentioning it especially on the taurus show every friday we talk about finances um but as i was saying to you this is someone that's very that was very stubborn okay they they have like a lack of discipline which means they probably threw around their authority very recklessly or they you know they tend to they said so they have all these qualities but they have paternity issues okay or they could be having paternity issues like um you know trying to determine what is what in their own personal life but either way this imbalanced person for you that have moved on or you're planning on moving away moving on from there is there's a reason a reason why we're here 
There's a reason why we're here. We got enlightenment. There's a reason why you met this person. There's a reason why you met an unstoppable force or you met someone just as stubborn as you, Taurus. So, so for some of you, Spirit showing me that you have met someone that's just as resilient, just as stubborn, just as fixed as you. Some of you may have literally date, maybe meeting another Taurus. Um, it's like you met, it's not like you met your match, but you met your... Um, some of you are meeting your twin flame or you're getting a confirmation that that's your twin flame. And this is like at the beginning of your journey. All right. Cause like I'm seeing baby Taurus is here. So move out the way right quick. Elder, oh, you know, the elderly. And I'm talking to myself because, you know, I'm getting older and you know, a lot of times that I'm getting older, my daughter going to tell me, she said, mommy, you're old. And I was like, respectfully i am and she was like no i mean like you're really old and so my niece was like don't call her old she is only 32 that is not old i was like no she can call me old because i am old i said i want her to remember that too not saying i want her to remember that as in it's gonna affect her but despite my physical flesh i am old my soul is old so i take that as a compliment and she was trying to you know come for me and my gray hair to the front you know i have some strands and she'd be wanting to pluck them out my head we are not taking the gray out of my hair it's just not happening i don't care i was born with a streak of gray hair at birth and it um changed colors as i got older but that's why I always say, like, if I was a mutant, I would definitely be, like, rogue because, you know, just the fact that I was born gray hair and stuff like that. I love gray hair. Anyway, moving on. Like, I really feel... Huh? Pause. We got phone calls. I didn't put my phone on. Do not disturb. Don't worry. This is all a part of the reading. So just go with it, Taurus, okay? Stay with me. Don't get lost. But all of this is relevant for whatever reason. Nothing happens by coincidence. So if you meet someone and you're like, what is this person? What's their purpose in my life? You know, they make you feel unstable or they make you feel like falling head over heels. I'm falling and I can't get up. Don't want to get up because of love. So if you meet somebody that makes you feel weak in the knees. All right. It may be feel like a test or it may feel like, you know, that person has that much influence over you and it's time to take your power back. You know what I'm saying? In a way where you're feeling stable regardless of what anyone else is doing around you or not doing around you. So this is about you being able to motivate yourself without needing to control somebody else. You taking complete ownership and responsibility for where you are right now in life, you know. Um, I forgot what I wanted to say. It'll come to me or I'll post it in the community tab. But yeah, this is like you've been you've been encouraged to move on. You've been encouraged to, to work on you and have complete and utter faith in the manifestations in alignment with who you are and your destiny, no matter who comes in or out of your life. So this is a confirmation of those of you, you know, you walking away with your look at that personal power come through spirit. All right, I'm done. You completely done. You know the luck. You know that blessings and good luck is coming towards you. You're going to be getting signs, synchronicities. Um, let me pull out my straw. I can't remember your name in the comments. But yes, if y'all did not watch the Taurus show, this is my straw. So hello, straw. Let's talk about it. So in this card, I heard cracks. Okay, you know how in kids when you used to play that game, like don't step on the cracks because of bad luck or whatever. I don't know. Like it was nothing that was ever said by an adult or parents. But like when I was kids and my sister and them were kids, they literally, you know, maybe it's a condition. Maybe they have a name for it now. But we just, when we were younger, we used to, play, it used to be like a game, but or we would make a game out of it. But it was really because... We felt like if you stepped on the cracks, it was bad luck. And nobody told us this. So whether or not it was something that's true, a signature. Someone going to an art gallery or having an art show. There's something about art 
on show you see here it says contact me like really really tiny words hold on let me i don't got my glasses on oh my bad it says it looked like contact me but it says crown me so crown me so something about crowning you put some respect on my name period 10 10 here so if someone's choosing you or your luck is about to change with crown me you crown yourself like someone here has made a name for themselves one two three four five they have gone through so many changes and like mount this is looks like mountains to me all right like you made some you've had some type of breakthrough or you follow some type of path and on that path it was not easy it was ups and downs you had to fall and ignore the distractions around you blue you were protected yes you see that blue you were protected now there's something about this box here okay you i feel like you you um it's like you made something out of your out of like your card like you were dealt some type of cards this is like your box right this is my space this is my channel this is my whatever this is my art this is everything we all are doing that right now so this is no co this is no coincidence my Taurus collective that resonate with this reading why you are you know experiencing your moment of leaving your mark here in the world you see this signature here so some of you may draw a painting or there's something about a painting or a portrait and you may you know leave your mark or you're leaving your mark in your signature on everything that you do some of you are signing autographs i'm seeing a lot of autograph signing and um like you're you're making a difference using your own personal power this is not using clout from someone else this is not using someone else to promote you this is like you showing up every single day doing what you love and you are leaving a mark in this world for yourself now hmm. highs and lows highs and lows I feel like you stay right in the middle okay something about your praise when you go through you have like a praise that you do or affirmation that you do to help you with your highs and lows because I heard in the middle of it praise them anyway so you could be very spiritual you could be very um you know prophetic where it's like you 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 wake up and you lift your spirits and you 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 channel that energy through you invoke that energy through you of like you know the holy spirit or whatever your spirits and i feel like you're being elevated okay so you a dime that's top of the line cute face with a something something i need a dime so you're a dime okay and i feel like you went from pennies okay so you may have literally did not even think that you could pull something off but you did all right some of somebody's looking at you like or they're gonna be looking at you like how you get a high value anything because of where you came from some of y'all about to like catapult like super fast and it's like you where you started they tried to say you was a one okay the and I, when i say a one i mean social class i mean you know um where you came from the the surroundings of of what you were being offered like this isn't like oh i go to the gym so i can meet someone better or oh i go to the community center so i can meet something better this is i'm using my personal power to change my luck to manifest my life i'm going to another dimension and that's and that's where you'll find me and i'm connecting with other people from that dimension I'm no longer manifesting with certain vibrations. I'm I'm raising my frequency so high. I'm I'm liberated. Woo! I feel like this energy surge coming on me. I feel like I don't even speak in tongues, but I'm about ready to speak in something and shake and drop and roll with it. Y'all don't even understand the world. Let me calm down. Wow look at that you see how it says liberty okay some of y'all are really it's not even about the american dream for you i feel like you liberated yourself against statistics against the odds against things that was meant to be like your um look at that keep you in fear okay there was something that was meant to keep you in fear you would never find another lover 
sweeter than this, sweeter than that one, okay? Sweeter than that person that was abusing their authority. When someone had you, they tried to keep you like a caged bird, male or female. They tried to keep you to themselves. Very possessive energy, all right? Keep you boxed in, okay? But something told you that you were going to hit a peak. You were going to hit your, have your moment, um, 10, 10 here, uh, manifestation. Okay. Angel number 10, 10, look it up. Let's put one with, let me get a kipper with this. Hold on. You know what this means Taurus with this eight of swords and personal power. Some of y'all did not have no help to conquer these demons some of you had no help like you didn't have a regiment this is what makes what you have accomplished or you're doing towards so magnificent because you know you didn't have a guidebook okay you didn't read this nowhere there was nobody that taught you this which means you were picked you were picked to be the one one percent okay you were meant to be the 1% out of your family, out of your uh, your region. You were meant to break generational curses. You were meant to, each one of these swords, you treated it like a, um, like you, like it was a personal thing for you, okay? Personal badge of honor. The hard, the hard parts and the good parts okay and i feel like you see how like um there are cracks here but i feel like you 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 walked alongside the cracks oh come through spirit you walked alongside the cracks okay you went from avoiding the cracks which is something that you probably used to do when you was kids or something avoid the avoid broken situations avoid things that aren't per perfect you walked alongside with it you know what that means Okay, you that means that you tapped into something that very few will ever have the potential to do. No one wants to walk alongside alongside anything that doesn't perceive isn't perceived to be perfect or pretty, okay? And it's like some of you you figured out like you got on the internet, you used the thing the very thing that was meant to be your oppressor could have been the system okay the abuse of power in your neighborhoods the abuse of power in the in the workforce and you use that same or on the internet you use that same that same modem that was intended to oppress you and you gave it meaning in your life you gave it purpose in your life and you said you would not be you would not be doomed to repeat these karmic cycles okay which means someone here has broken the matrix okay for themselves within their own personal dna their matrix is they've been liberated from it and there's some type of work of art or there's something that you do whether it's your words your rap your music okay it's something creative though it's something artistic look at that well look at that well 13 i don't know what it is you are this wealthy man wealth and riches are two different things every time i see a wealthy man this is more than just this is the type of shit where you could lose everything taurus you could literally lose everything more than once you're no longer afraid of failure when you tap into wealth it requires death it requires you being flexible it requires you being able to like you don't have to compromise yourself no more because you know how to you know the engineer the engineering of this dimension and you don't have to get permission this is someone that does not have to they don't have to kiss ass they don't have to um they don't have to play into any game. They have nothing to prove. This is someone that knows who they are. And look at that. As soon as I said death here, courtship. You're, I'm telling you, your days of being single are so numbered. You see that said four days. Something about four days from the day you watch this video. Something within you shifts. Something within you clicks. 
I don't know what exactly it is, but I could just feel it in my like gut. Like it just feels instinctual and like my heart is like do 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 do. So this is what it might feel like to you when that situation happens. It doesn't feel too good to be true. It's just it's a work of art. Okay, I'm hearing drums playing. Something feels like Jumanji. Okay. There may have been times where you wanted to stop playing the game because of the the trials the trials and the failures and the obstacles that you've experienced, but you kept going despite what your mind could have been telling you, despite the distractions around you. I mean, no matter the hate or like look at that, they're running the running pink on this here. Yeah. Because I feel like with this running here, I feel like even when you were at your highest, you still kind of felt like, let me not get too comfortable because I could lose it again. You had to even battle that internal thought dialogue. You know that feeling when you, where you've struggled trying to climb a mountain and your legs, your muscles start to spasm, you get lethargic and you can feel your physical body going through the motions of that acceleration, that incline. And then when you finally make it to the top of that mountain, it's like you're almost you're like you're at that point where let me prepare for my descend again because you had to descend so many look how many times you had to descend one two three four so as many times as you rose you had to descend and decline five times just to get back up the tenth time Woo! Okay, so you here you have this wealthy man. This is you. And here's the thing. This is like one of those situations where you know the engineering or the makeup of this of this um I'm talking about stocks, bonds. I'm talking about the wealth of your last name. All right. CM could be significant. 13, but you have whether you're a male or female, you know what you are investing in. You know the ticket. Some of y'all about to win the lottery too. All right. Others of you, this is really like your personal power. It took you to personally tap into information that what you were not privy to in order for you to step into this position as someone that's chosen for this. Whew. But it's like I don't know what's up with this courtship, but let's get one more. Clarify this wealthy man spirit. What, what, what do you want me to say to my Tauruses? The lovers, I'm telling you, just put it there. So here you're about to meet someone that has a similar, with the fucking child. Oh my God. All right, Taurus. All right, I'm done playing with y'all. Let me tell you right now. Some of you are going to meet someone that has also went through the same situation or the same experience that this is not someone just admiring you this is someone that <sighs> shit it feels like they it feels like you may not have as much as them right now Taurus but your spirit is so strong or well, your character speaks so much volumes for itself that someone feels like they may not be good enough for you and they may be the most wealthiest person but there's something about your personal power and how you came to acquire where you are there's some fear here around merging with someone else because someone is so used to doing things by themselves because of those pitfalls that they had to experience on their journey but with this four six you have two fours here getting to know someone of equal value and when i say equal value i mean like i said one of you could be high value in both both of you feel like you're valuable um like you this is a 10 10 okay 
this is like tithes and offerings okay so some of y'all have been paying your tithes and your offerings and you have been you know pouring into this relationship long before you got to it could have been over the past four years okay you've been courting this person spiritually and um you're coming up on your last two years to that not that completion of that giving birth of this relationship some of you this birth is a spiritual birth and this child is here to represent the innocence of this relationship for others of you it will develop into um like you know it will move very fast like by the six months or by by the by the 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 completion of a full year um nine to twelve months you guys are bringing in a, a child two and two so you go from being single okay well wealthy and this is like literally like this is not just wealthy is not just rich you have people get who who get rich and they don't know how to reciprocate but this is someone's going to teach you you're going to be able to learn from this person or vice versa y'all are going to teach each other aspects of each other that you weren't able to experience or achieve like you guys have reached a peak with this point here and this peak that you have reached was that solitude journey aspect now the next two phases of this journey is the compilation okay the composition some of y'all been writing a symphony like music I heard lashes. Okay, somebody lashes might fall off. You might cry. That's okay. Just put that thing back on. Ain't nobody gotta know. <laughs> Dang, something's hard to get up off the ground. Okay, this could be your business, and you're finna have someone that's gonna help you with your business. This could be someone that's helping you get your your name out there. It seems like um an invest an investment okay for some of you someone may buy some art i'm seeing anastasia still okay somebody's name could be anastasia or someone may literally like buy an auction at an auction your material hmm shit i'm here in daddy's home okay by usher what else am I hearing? Apple. You are the apple of my eye. You know, I I remember singing last night. You know, I'm like, you know, it's where I'm always hearing songs with my clear audience. I think I'm ready to graduate to hearing voices. But I feel like we're going to stick to songs a little bit longer. Because um, the Eight of Swords last thing. <laughs> okay, Spirit told me to stop saying that. Okay. So... I'm going to tell you when you focus on what you don't want towards, that's what you manifest. That's what you're creating. That's what you're co-creating with the universe. When you give all the attention to what you do want without the expectation or without the, the thought process, because you're a powerful manifester. So this is what they want you to know. You could think something today and tomorrow is going to show up in your reality, which means you are manifesting in rapid speed my love and if you are manifesting that fast you're going to have to watch your language and you're going to notice that people are going to come to you and you, like like it says here trouble ahead unexpected events the senseless destruction this can be avoided and it literally feels like pitfalls of fear there's an event that's supposed to change everything this is your divine warning to watch your fears, Taurus. Okay, because like I said, you're cultivating a new start. You're cultivating a fresh start. You're carefree. This is like your universe. This is blind faith, following your intuition. The spirit is saying, just don't make poor choices as simple as your, your mind getting the best of you. Okay, Spirit, can you give Taurus some clarification? We're going to give this, this deck a nice shuffle. <clears throat> Ooh. Whoever this person is, they're going to have a strong build, strong grip or strong build. This is someone that may be able to pick you up. All right. Or someone that ha has a firm grip. 
Okay, you got Solomon, power, alchemy, command, forces. Damn, this person may be religious, magician, and oh, whoa. Okay, mystical seal, star of David, they could have that symbol on them, or these angles. They know how to, mm-mm-mm. Alchemy. They know how to command forces. This is like this person. I said, who is this person? This is a powerful manifester, just like you, Taurus. Some of you, this is you. And you're meeting someone that you'll be able to grow with because they're on your level. Spirit, clarify this courtship for Taurus. Spirit, clarify this courtship for Taurus. Okay, so you got moon and Aries. Yeah. Okay, there's a strong sense that y'all just belong together. But there's moon and Aries. Okay, this courtship is one that is emotional and delicate. No matter how great their life is, they never forget about others. Willing to lend a helping hand. Wears emotions on their sleeve. Let all emotions show. Can be easily drained. Caretaker. So this is you both are a caretaker. So you're giving spirit. They're giving spirit. And they never forget about someone that they meet. Or they never forget about someone that they came into their life. Um, they're, they're loyal. Just like you Taurus. Okay, there's a strong feeling that y'all just belong together. Y'all have a, this is like the a perfect aspect between the two of you. Y'all are made to go well together, to understand, appreciate, love, and compliment one another. Yeah. All right, we have eighth house energy here. Uh-huh. Eighth house energy, mysterious. Again, with this mysterious, mystical sector um eighth house what is that scorpionic energy it rules death rebirth sex transformation um merging energies bonding the deepest level other other people's property and money so this like i said this is this is an aspect some of y'all may have that as a venus scorpio and venus and y'all are meant to um this is how you're meant to, or you could have uh Aries you could have Aries and Venus as well because those two placements are meant to manifest or one of y'all could have the opposite of those placements something about this is you guys are meant to acquire a lot of wealth this lifetime whoever this is resonate for and it's going to come with a lot of adversity um, but it's not the end for the both of you Yeah, it's not the end. Guru. Look at that. Guru and the fucking Hierophant. And, and the... Look at that. The Guru... Th there are some lessons involved around matters of the heart. But moving on. Moving forward. Okay? Moving past those abandonment stories. Moving past those... Um, being abandoned by people letting things go forgiving healing yourself b becoming detached from that that stigma that was given to you by your parents and unidentifying with those looking deeper into the situation becoming withdrawn is connecting the dots here for both of you you guys are on this sabbatical of looking for the truth and through that through those lessons y'all y'all your own personal power, your own personal success leads you both to um, a level of awareness where you are, you understand the spiritual and the physical and you cre you're creating new traditions that are in alignment with who, where you, where you are spiritually, the star of David. Look at that. All this crown energy is really powerful. You know, it's like you guys have um, 
You guys are going to co-create something. What are they co-creating, Spirit? What are they co-creating with this child energy? Okay. The next level of these blessings are in a connection with someone. And you guys are co-creating something together. What are they co-creating with this child energy spirit? <sighs> wow. Feeling more certain, but not quite. Feeling more certain, but not. Not. Why can I nigh? Why I want to say nigh? So maybe there's something about this child that's from a nigh. They say that in some type of language. Okay, nigh it could be biblical with religious. It could be biblical. Nigh do nigh do I walk through like Shakespearean? Okay, something about this child. Um, it breaks some type of social norms here because you have 11th house. Look at that Saturn harsh lessons. So this is like some type of debut into society, giving birth to this, whatever this is. Some of you, it is a child. For others of you, it's a business. It's um, a new way of teaching, a new way of communicating, a new way, a new wave of you know a sanctuary because you know the hierophant is a sanctuary but it blends religion and spirituality because you guys walk, come from different walks of life so some one of you could be very religious and the other one could be very spiritual but through your love you teach you show the world that you can blend these different belief systems as one and there's no division through this child um, so it is a hard assignment, but you guys are being prepared for it through all of these. What the freak? Okay, listen, you know how spirit said connect the dots? This house, this triangle, the point, this is the point that you're focused on. This is the purpose that brought you together. All the other distractions don't matter. Distractions of the world, status, uh, titles, it, it, something about you guys focusing on why you got together is the is the point of reference and it's the only one that matters and when you focus on the distractions of what society say oh you should be married by 30 or oh if you guys been dating so long you should be doing this or oh you can't be with this person because they do voodoo and you do and you are christian you know or you can't talk to that person because they read tarot and you're baptist those things are norms that are like being is giving birth to the duality of these things in a whole nother way. And I'm telling you, someone here is the unconditional love here with this lover's card. Neither one of you have to subscribe to anything. One faction, you're like divergence. It's giving me that movie Divergent. You can choose to be whoever you want to be. And to connect the dots. That's what, that's what spirit message was. Connect the dots of this power line. Why are these three? And look in this picture. You probably can't see it, Taurus. But in this picture, it was about power lines. That was the message that I got at the nail salon. Okay? Nail salon. So something about your palmistry could be need to be read or the lines. So connecting the dots and then there's dots that came out in this card. Uh, I just love, I just love spirit. Oh my God, I love spirit. Ooh, okay. So this is like debut into society and the reception you get out there. So this is like people may or may not be reciprocal. They may not, you know respect your expression but you're meant to um you know carry that cross okay be that star challenge religious belief and use like your power of your hair some of you may be growing out your hair really long and you're not going to cut it or you may be dreadlocking your hair there's something that's going on that's symbolic to your own personal path here friends colleagues and social circles so like i said you're about to create social circles with this with this um 
birth here it's like you're about to create 11th house energy that's untampered with it's pure it's innocent it's unconditional love you're about to team up and collaborate with certain people that 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 have the same like mind energy mm. Whew. fifth house fun games hobbies conveys what one desires conveys one path towards fulfillment how you can have fun so this is like you guys teaching the world this hierophant how you can have fun pretty much you know creating these things for yourself and and rewriting your reality and accessing your um your ooh accessing your some of you could be accessing like your 6th house or your 4th house I don't know I'm just hearing random numbers so take it how it resonates Mm -hmm. taking one's decisions seeking guidance from god solitude trusting an inner self retreat from distress distractions so i'm seeing someone like go into solitude there's a reason for all of this um i said someone i'm looking i'm looking for turn on the lights i'm looking for, i heard she keep her promises and never turn on you all right so someone looking for a loyal companion that they can trust here. Wow. I heard loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Yes, this is going to be some type of stable. Like, look at that star and the emperor. Okay. No more abandonment. Okay. No more stories of, you know, this is building an empire from scratch. Like the ingredients are here. Look at that six of wands. Fuck the haters, Taurus. This is all you. Strong Aries present here. Aries, Pisces, Taurus on Taurus energy. <sighs> Gemini, the Hermit, Virgo. There's a lot that's going on. And you can allow this situation. You can allow the past to hold you hostage or you can liberate yourself and keep moving forward because this is coming for you all right whoever you are this is coming for you i cannot say this enough just feels like you know, i just feel like i'm in the kitchen right now and you got all these little different ingredients and then you're just gonna pour it into a pot and voila take it out the oven um man when i was a little girl she's the way she's holding that doll i wanted i saw something on tv one time and it was a life-size doll like back in the i think early 2000s i saw a life-size doll and it was like around the same time that movie came out with the um i had to be like eight nine and um i wanted that life-size doll and i knew my mom didn't have the financial means to get it you know because she had like 10 kids and i was number eight so um she always taught me growing up that I can have anything if I was willing to make it okay so she let me be myself and I was like that type of child I didn't really play with a lot of people I was very like to myself and she never would force like people would be like oh she's so mean or oh she something's wrong with that little girl because I was a baby but I, w I never wanted to be held if I wasn't eating or walking by myself and someone picked me up I would scream so I would cry or scream. I was walking by seven months. Um, I was just super independent. I traveled the world very young. My mom allowed me to do that. Um, you know, where I was able to go with entrusted me with other people. And I traveled the world. And um, I left that nest. But I wanted that life-size doll so bad them we were homeschooled so it's like i just see that wonder like that's how i felt with just the look on her face where it was like i went in my mama's 
um, I went into our little classroom that we had in our house and I collected all the construction paper. I got staples, glue, and I we used to have like these like really large rectangle construction papers like um like this long like the size of this table and I started off with the face and I drew this I drew the legs I drew the outlines I cut it out I measured it I put cotton in between the construction paper and then I like stapled like along the sides the legs the arms when I tell you I had a life-size doll I measured it because I really wanted her to be able to sit next to me and I'd be able to hold her like we were the same age it was like I wanted a life-size doll so I made it out of construction paper staples cotton and um yeah I did that my, my mom was so damn surprised. She wanted to, like, take it and keep it forever. She didn't want me playing with it no more. She wanted to just leave it in her archives. And I was like, no, that's my friend. <laughs> but I always talked to myself as a kid. And she always let me play by myself and talk to myself. I was still playing with Barbie dolls when I was, like, 11. I stopped playing with Barbie dolls when I was 12. But I would play by myself for hours. Okay. Shit. I have imagination of, of a lot of people. <laughs> but for what's your message? That's just crazy. When I saw her face in that doll, I remember holding my doll like that. And so there's somebody or like all of us really as a collective is going to revert back to this childlike nature. Like just reading this reading makes me want to fucking go make another doll. Seeking, seeking karmic balance, present. Yes, this is the, like I told you with this six of pentacles, you had to learn how to fail so you can get back up again. Get back up again. Good intentions. It was all good intentions of the past Why you had to run into these unforeseen pitfalls. Um, to help you see within yourself what wants to be addressed. Karma is what's, what's, what narrative is spinning, okay, in your mind and your subconscious that you need to walk away from? What fear is is on replay that you need to remove yourself from? What needs to be purged? What needs to be healing? But if that person wasn't in there, that person wasn't a distorted masculine or feminine, if that person didn't have fear too and y'all didn't fuck shit up and ruin it, if you didn't experience those pitfalls, you wouldn't be prepared for the season that you're about to walk into. So this is, look, blind enthusiasm. So staying excited and thrilled about something that you may not be able to put your finger on, but you can feel it in your gut. You know what I'm saying? You can feel it. Ooh, spirit is working on some things with you, baby. I need I need my other deck, Mystic Martians. So let's 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 take a let's get take a ride in the spaceship right quick. You can't open this box fat box fast enough. Okay. I don't have my Mystic Miss. I don't have my Mystic Martian, Reptilians, Predators, Survival. Some of y'all dealt with very narcissistic relationships. Or like tyranny, y'all y'all live dealt with some like tyrants. Whether it was your boss, your parent, your romantic relationships. Um, but y'all been doing some type of genetic recoding, rerouting, um, diving into your ancestry, and it's it's paying off or it's showing. Look at that! I'm telling you, twenty two, ten and ten. The two of you. I'm getting the two of cups energy off here. Collaboration, meeting, community. So y'all are part of the same galactic federation. We have Ebens, mystery, reading between the lines, intuition. Listen, look at the bear. And in this bear, like one of it is missing one eye. Eight again. 
that's crazy shadow self denial projecting shame so some of you are about to do shadow work and you're it's going to call this in you're going to align with it but whatever you've been in denial about I'm in denial about what's playing in my head. I'm in denial about the fears that's holding me back. I've been in denial around what I've been projecting out that's that's been hindering my progress, hindering my wealth and abundance. And it's time for that to end. You've been a prisoner to your own shadow, okay? And for some of you, your shadow has been growing far bigger than you with this two of swords, refusing to see it. No one can tell you about yourself. Flower of life, inspiration, awe, dreams. So you're, you're reconnecting to your source. Getting out into nature is about to reconnect you to your source. You are never abandoned. That's an illusion. The sun is always within you. The creator is always within you. Your source is always within you. But if you shut yourself off from love and these experiences, you shut yourself off from source. That's a whole that's a whole word right there for someone that needed to hear it. Look at that temperance. You are about to heal. You are about to heal. You are about to heal. So let's read crown. Okay, you were chosen for this, and so shall it be. Samote so it be. 28. It says, imagine a crown on your head. How does it make you feel? Does the weight of it make you stand a little straighter? You are the ruler of your own world. So approach life that way. Step into your power. Although many things in this life are out of our control, you have complete control of your own experience. Be confident in your decisions and resist the urge to make yourself small to suit the expectations of others this symbol of royalty and importance could signify an increase in your authority whether it be from gaining ex expertise receiving a promotion or earning recognition for your contributions Demand the same high level of respect and maturity from others that you offer them. If the weight of leadership is causing you to stumble, if you are in doubt or struggling to find your own power, the energy of this card is here to remind you of your own strength and the reasons why you wear the crown in the first place. Woo! Activate crown chakra, improved social status, manifesting with confidence, receiving an award, self mastery. <laughs> Clap for yourself, Taurus. I'm sending you lots of love, wisdom and guidance on your journey, Taurus. I love each and every single one of you. Um, big up yourself in the comments. I see you guys and I'll see you again later tonight or tomorrow. Bye, Taurus.